Hi, this is Michael, and I'm reviewing the Arcos 20B MP3 player today. And here's the box, and when you take everything out of the box, this is what you end up with. <coughs> you end up with the MP3 player, you end up with some earbuds, and here's your USB cable. You've also got uh, the user manual is in sev several different languages. Uh, you've got a certificate here for some free mp3s and audiobook and then here's your warranty information. Uh, the Arcos is uh, an attractively designed, it's relatively thin form factor. Uh, it's made of plastic. What I noticed immediately though is it kind of creaks when you flex it a little bit or when you're pushing the buttons. It just doesn't feel real solid to me. Uh, just as a point of comparison I have a SanDisk Fuse which is quite solid and it doesn't creak and it has a nice scrolling wheel here to access through your men memory uh, <laughs> menus and such and uh, what I like the most about the uh, SanDisk Fuse is you also got a micro SD slot here now the Arcos comes with 8 gigabytes of memory this particular model uh, there's no expansion possible here's your headphone jack and then here's your USB connector to turn the Arcos on you push the OK button for about two seconds and then it takes about eight seconds for it to power up fully once you're on the main screen uh, you access the menu system by using the left and right arrow buttons and it's a little counterintuitive because you push the button left or right in order to move the menu up or down uh, you know, once you get used to it, it's no big deal, but it just seems a little, uh, a little odd to be pushing something left and right in order to move something up or down. But given the screen dimensions and orientation, that's really the only choice they had, uh, with, unless they had put an up and down arrow button. In any case, don't want to belabor that point too much. As an MP3 player, I thought it was great. Uh, it gives you a very good quality sound, in my opinion. It also gives you preset equalization for various types of music such as jazz, rock, classical, etc. It also has user customizable equalization which you can set to your own preference. Uh, as a photo viewer and a video player uh, because of the small screen size it's, it's just really not a very good form factor for that. Photo is probably better than video. Um, however there's a sample video on there and you can uh, you can you can you know, you can watch a video on this thing, but do you want to? I don't know, probably not. Sorry for all the glare, you can't really get a good idea of this, but I didn't think that the brightness of the screen was really adequate unless you were in a slightly uh, a not bright situation. Outside, because of the glare, uh, it's a glossy screen, and because of just what happens with all LCD screens when you're outside, it just uh, is not very good. In any case, you can show video on it, and you can put photos on there. It also has a uh, it also has a uh, files menu choice, uh, and that's just basically giving you the directory structure of all the files that you can access on the device. The radio worked very well. Uh, I thought that it worked quite well, and you can also set your own presets. So for your favorite stations, uh, you can have a nice little portable radio here. Um, then also the uh, voice recorder function is probably one of the weakest areas of the Arcos. Uh, it uses a very low encoding rate of only 32 kilobits per second. Uh, whereas, the, whereas the SanDisk Fuse uh, that I had mentioned earlier, this uses a sampling or an encoding rate of 384 kilobits per second. Much, much higher recording quality. This sounds scratchy and I just didn't think it was very good at all. I would never use it as a voice recorder. And then of course the settings menu is where you can access certain things like how bright the screen is, what the auto shutoff time is and such. It's kind of peculiar to me though how the auto shutoff works. It's actually set up so that it's shut off after a predetermined period of time such as 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It can go up to 120 minutes or you can turn that off completely. But it's not shutting it off after a period of inactivity. It's shutting it off after a specified period of time, even if it's in use at that time. So for me, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, so I just turn that off, and I just have to manually turn the device on and off when I'm through using it. Also, I might mention that the documentation mentions a software folder, 
and that you will not find on the Arcos distributed in the United States. That is only for other countries. So do not be alarmed by the fact that there's no software folder as alluded to in the documentation. And that software folder was to have contained video conversion software so that you can make sure you've got video in the right format in order to view it on the Arcos. But you can easily do that with other readily available software. So that's my review for the Arcos 20B Vision. Um, overall, I just rate it as average. I think the SanDisk Fuse offers a better value for the money, particularly because the micro SD card slot enables you to expand the memory. Hope this helps. Thank you.